still lingering question marks uh, as to how equitable uh, this is, particularly uh, for the um, domestic institutional investors, such as the banks and the pension funds, because by law, almost the 70 percent or so of these funds must necessarily be um, invested in government securities and other um, instruments. Um, and if you're saying that they have to forego um, the principal repayment, the the um, interest repayment, then you're almost talking about a hefty reduction in the value of their um, investments. And that sense is not really equitable. People already are suffering some sort of losses, because if you go and cash out now, uh, many people are getting almost 20, sometimes 30 percent implicit uh, discount or haircut on the value of the of the investment because of exchange rate, because of depreciation, um, and then other sort of market fundamentals that, that are at play. So it, it's a double whammy, really, for uh, a lot of these um, uh, institutional um, investors. Um, in very simple financial terms, the present value or the worth of their um, investments, which in encompasses both the principal plus the interest, it's not going to be the same. The decisions are made sometimes, you know, in a siloed way, but without really looking through or bringing on board or carrying along the people whom these decisions affect at the, at the end of the day.